Hello and welcome back to another episode of Mav. Today I'm super excited. Gonna get to go open water fishing again. And we're gonna go open water fishing in the city. We're fishing one of my favorite stretches on the Mississippi. There's huge fish in here and they're just waiting. They're coming up to spawn right now. So there's literally hundreds and hundreds of walleyes just hanging out in this river. And we're, uh, we're gonna be targeting them today. We're gonna be using big paddle tail baits, maybe some live bait, not really sure. Gonna go talk with Matt and uh, see what the plans are. But first I gotta get in the boat to catch the fish. So let's go get in the boat. Get it. We're only going like a mile. We had, we had to buy glass. Yeah, he doesn't. He doesn't. All right, guys, well, we made it out on the lake. There's a familiar face in the boat. Hi. Mr. Matt. How's everybody doing today? What's going on? Uh, out on the river right now, currently dragging jigs again, pulling some big swim baits. Uh, hopefully we can catch some big walleyes today. Sweet, and who's this, who's this unfamiliar face right here? Hey, how you doing? I'm Seth Osmondson. Going out here with Matt, trying to keep up. It's always tough to keep up with Matt. He's such a good fisherman, you know. <laughs> He's already had three or four fish on the boat, just killing up to the surface. They're here. They're here. You don't even need a graph. Well, I think I'm going to keep the big camera on these two today. They, uh, they've they been good friends for a while, and we're going to hopefully catch some walleyes. Um, like I said, we're, we're out on the river, and we're in the middle of the city, so next thing to do is catch some fish. Let's get after it. I played national event paintball before I got hurt in 07 in a motorcycle accident. So I, I won my first national event in Boston in the Patriot Stadium parking lot. Did you say paintball? Yeah. Did you play speedball or what? Yeah. That's really? A, yeah, for national events, yeah. That's, there's no woods ball. For the MPPA? Or the, the MPPL, I've won a seven-man event. Yeah. Wicked. Wicked. That's piss wicked there. Piss uh, wicked. Pick wick, piss wicked fast. That's what the guys in Boston say. It's piss wicked fast. Yeah, it's on the, on the top for it already. Got one? Yep. Big fish. Big fish. I didn't even feel a bite on that one. Do you want me to reel? Just all this, yeah, you better reel up. Okay. Feels like a good fish. I didn't even feel a bite. It just kind of started to load up. Yeah. I can net it too if I need to. Because it's probably not going to come up very far. Might be hard to get it, get it close to the boat. Feels like a decent fish. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, it's a really nice one. Oh, wow. Really nice one. Oh, God. Oh! Dude! That's a nice fish. That's a good way to start the day. Yeah. 26 and a quarter. That's a fat 26. 26 and a quarter. That's right there. So, first uh, first fish of the year out here on this stretch of river. And it's a nice, healthy 26 incher. We'll let her go and hopefully uh, make some babies. There she goes, nice and healthy. All right, let's do that Thank again. You, dude. That was awesome. Yeah, that's a good fish. <laughs> what a freaking way to start the day. Yeah. We've been out here for like, I don't know, 20 minutes, 15. and. So that's a dandy. There's more to come. Like you know how drones have those gimbals. There's one. There you go. Oh yeah, big fish. All right. Alright. Kluge's got the hot stick. Yeah, he does. Which side net's better for you, Seth? Whatever you want to do, I'm just gonna hand it to Here, you. Seth, right? I can grab it. I can grab it this time. Yeah. If you just want to hold, I can hold a camera. So I'm gonna do that. Whatever's easier. No Is it on? Yeah. Here you go. Use this thing on. Yep. It's recording. All right. The zoom's on the lens. If you want to zoom it, it's this right. thing right here. If you want. All right. To this guy's on. Matt's hooked up again here. Yeah. I don't know if I have this camera set up or not. <laughs> Matt's uh, telling me how to do it, and I feel as if I'm getting yelled at by my dad. <laughs> Stop telling me to do things. He's a nice fish. It looks like he's coming up here. Matt's using two and a half pound braid down to a half pound liter. He's <laughs> reefing it in. It's actually sewing thread. Yeah, it's sewing thread. He, likes to, he, he really likes the challenge in life. You know, he's caught so many fish. So he's working on getting this fish to come oh. in though. Sometimes it doesn't work. Right. See so if it's a good scoop here like this Matt or now. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, okay. Okay. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. Good, yeah. good extension there. Yeah, nice, nice. <laughs> yeah, no, thank you. Beautiful river walleye. Probably another 26, I'd guess. Be my guess. 24, 24. Let me get a better God, they're so fat in here, dude. That one's only 25 and a quarter. See? I told you, at least 24. Alright, let's do this again. Another 25 incher. Bad as hell. Let's see if she'll swim away and make some babies. Alright. 
Just do that again. On fire. <laughs> That's freaking awesome. Two fish, nothing under 25, can't complain. <laughs> What's the secret? <laughs> You know, you just gotta want it. You heard it here first, folks. You just gotta want it. Hey, Seth, That's you just gotta want it. I know. I, I'll you just you gotta will it into happening. You just gotta will it into happening. Nice. Seth, you've been kind of quiet over here. Are you gonna catch one or what? I'm trying to catch one, but I mean, Matt's always cutting my line or telling me to jerk it really hard. <laughs> so we got a lot of a lot of you know. He's like, I want a broad stroke of how to catch them. So I want you to just look like you a have Tourette's and or b in a wheelchair. I'm like, okay, <laughs> I'm working on that. It's so nice, it feels so comfy right here. I want to tell you about a really bad experience in my life. And you can all share that and they can move on from it. This one time, Matt cut a bunch of fish. He was really mean about it and said the only reason I couldn't catch him was because my balance was bad and I should just stand up and really use my hips to get into that fish. And I told him it's not a possibility for me and he was like, you just got to want it. Like this fish right here. Yeah. Oh God, it worked our way up from there. So I switched baits. Because, not because Matt was right, I just want to prove him wrong again, and we'll see how it goes. Hey Seth, how'd that uh, minnow work out for you? I don't want to talk about how that minnow didn't work out. You got some dots? Oh no, I'm good, thank you though. Hi! So you, guys, the, you guys want some dots? You want he, some dots? Yeah, yeah. You, hey, you still gotta let him, even on the plastic, still just hit it and just let him load it. So, this is uh, an underspin specifically made for the river by Atomic Tackle and Wayne Brocky. We do with uh, San Diego Cinch Knot. I learned this from Matt Klug. And you uh, tie off, cut off the end and you're good to go. GTG as they say, the kids. Many of Matt's recommendations, most of which have not turned out to be as successful for me as they are for him. But when you're a pro fisherman like Matt, it's really hard not to be at the pinnacle edge of new tackle, tackle technology. Yeah. Hopefully we'll see if I can catch a couple on it. Yep. These are a good one. Dude, that was weird. I let him eat it like you said. Right? A little shaky. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Get a boat guy. How big you think it is? I'm gonna guess about a 19 or 20 inch. It ain't nothing. It doesn't feel huge. It's a good eater. Good cheek meat. <laughs> good cheek meat. It's getting heavier on me. Oh, don't come off. Keep it tight. Keep it all right. Don't horse her too hard. Keep it head up. One of them good ones. Oh, she's not that big. Ew! Nice! Good eater. Good, 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 <laughs> good musky eater. Good musky bait. Wow, that one inhaled it. Yeah, that one did inhale it. Look at how that fish ate it. Just absolutely inhaled it. Well, there's our fourth fourth actual catch of the day. Yep. Only one that's been caught that hasn't been Matt. But that's probably about, what, a 20-incher? I guess it's about a 21, 22. Yeah, there's 21, 22. Stick right there. Well, I can measure it quick. I'll measure it quick. Yeah, that one's all a 22. 22 and a quarter. Nice fish. They're so stocky in here, dude. It's crazy. All right, we're gonna get this guy back in the water. See you later. <laughs> Sweet. So fishing really kind of slowed down there for a little while. Uh, Matt caught those two right at the beginning and uh, fished for probably about two or three more hours without much action. Caught a couple on a blade bait, but I was actually just being lazy and sitting in the back of the boat there and felt one hit, so maybe it means fishing's gonna pick back up. Yeah, no, no, it's more of a going for quality. I mean, if we wanted to catch a bunch of fish, we could probably just drift and vertical jig. But yeah. If you want to catch bigger fish, this is the way to do it. All right. Well, I'm going to take his word for it. Obviously, it's paying off so far. So let's see if we can't get one that's bigger. We got to beat 26 and a quarter. 26 and a quarter right now. So our biggest fish right now is 26 and a quarter. That's the one to beat. Um, see if uh, old Seth over here can't do it. I'm trying, Dad. I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> take your time, buddy. Hold your handle, hold your handle like you normally do. Put your hand on that button. Right here. 
Oh, yours is bigger. Oh, yeah. Nothing wrong with that little guy. Ooh, boy. Just a little dude. So, Seth, I just put the drone up, and what the heck just happened? Yeah. Well, I attempted to tune a boat in a arguably between 22 and 37 inch walleye. The net was right behind it. Matt's like, no, no, I got it. And I was like, I'm in a wheelchair. I can do it myself. And apparently, I couldn't. Seth definitely had a fish on and tried to boat flip it. And it, 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 to the boat. Yeah, mm -hmm. to the boat indeed. Hit, hit the side and kind of fell right in. But there's more fish down there. <laughs> Matt. Matt, Matt was really supportive. He's like, you're just as disappointing as I was to my father. I'm like, yes, finally. <laughs> Some validation, man. <laughs> Self-taught. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put this thing back on the tripod. So. Yep. There we go. That's a good one. Always. fish and chill. So one thing I see a lot of people do when they're fighting fish in the river is they pump their rod a lot. Because of the current, you end up putting too much slack in your line. You're just better off just taking it easy and just fighting the fish. If you pump the rod too much, you're gonna lose it. That's not that big. I'll bring them up the side. And it's in a hole. Even though it's slow and dangerous behind the wheel, some people do serve a useful purpose. Huh? That thing absolutely choked on that bait. Oh, <laughs> dude. I can't even see it. Look at that. It's gone. Just another good quality 20 incher out of the river. Beautiful. Nice, nice job. I'm glad you got that. I'm so happy, Thanks. Matt. Matt, Matt, Seth, MK got that right guide. there is what happens when you use a net. Yeah, it comes that's, in the boat. That's nice. I'm really <laughs> Who helped you with that net? Who yeah, showed you that? Net Who net. showed you how to net? The bite's definitely picking up a little bit. Uh, not catching the size we want, but we're catching numbers. Just enjoying a nice little little beef stick, taking a break after I retied there, and I don't know, Matt's Matt's definitely out fishing us today. What do you think, Seth? I think it is. I think he's, he's a cheater. He's a cheater. He's using, he's using professional guide cheats. He's using cheat that. codes. Cheat I guess codes. I guess you can't really catch fish though if you're not not in the water. So up, down, left, right, R one. <laughs> Oh, tuna boat, tuna boat. That's on the tuna boat. I got the wrong hand. You got a bagging? Oh, no. Just take your time, Seth. You don't have to horse them. Yeah, yeah Seth, you, chill. Oh, you me to get them in the boat. No, I never ever do Stop that. yelling at me yet! I'm gonna get around. really big. She said. I don't know. Oh, there's. Good old solders right Oh, it just oh, freaking died on me. Yeah. Seth, I don't know why my camera doesn't like you catching fish. Oh, it happens. It happens. This, is a pretty, this is my PV. It's YouTube speak for personal best on a sauger. Anyway, it's really nice. Matt caught it on the net he got from Kohl's on sale. It's real nice. Anyway, I'm going to let this go back. Thanks, Dad. So, come on, little man. Nice, nice. You're a gomer, you know that? <laughs> You're a gomer. <laughs> you got any closing words of wisdom for us? Well... I'll honestly say, I've never been skunked fishing with Matt Klug, but I'm glad he invited me with, and it was a good time, and I'm really enjoyed Mav and his YouTube channel, everyone should check out, and uh, I wish you'd have caught that big one. You should have seen the side of the fish I thought I had on, it was like this, but reality is probably like, like that. But a lot of fun out here in the river, I learned a lot today, stuff like that, it's always good to go with Matt, and new people like Mav, so I really appreciate all the help. Well, thank you guys so much for tuning in this episode, I think uh, we're going to... We're gonna head back to the ramp right now and get the boat off, but definitely learned a lot today. River fishing is still not my forte. I managed to lose mm, two fish and I couldn't find bottom all day, but that's just the way of the road. I'm only gonna get better uh, with more time out here. So thanks guys for joining me. Thanks Matt for taking me out. And Thanks Matt. Yeah, thanks Matt. Until next time. Until can next we, time. Can we get ice cream? Tight lines. Home?